you talking about? Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Girl, I just realized, is it ever a second take? <laughs> no, never. never. Never a second take, but hey, we here. Welcome to What They Talk About Podcast. It's me. It's your boy, The Talent. It's you, it's us. No, Yachty. It's us with me. It's your boy, Cozy Cotty here at Double C and I'm Double Cup. Got my boy, Quan with me. Yer. Got Maddie. Last. Hey What's up? And my boy, Jern. The Talent. Why are you smiling like that, bro? <laughs> Everybody want to be the talent. It's time to do what the talent do. You got something to say about Go that ahead, last? Talk no, your just, talk. Just, your face said it all. Talk your talk. Yeah, I'm honestly, really talent. when you when you're the talent, you don't got to say it. Yeah, I mean honestly. Now, now, I'm just a girl. Now, now, I'm just a girl. I'm yeah, just a girl. They in cahoots. <laughs> they in cahoots. <laughs> they in cahoots. <laughs> you heard what I'm about to say? I'm just a girl. They in cahoots. I'm just a girl. <laughs> just a girl. We got Ken and Barbie over here. <laughs> Ken and Barbie. God damn. I'm just a girl. Ken and Barbie, you know? You know? Uh, Ken and Barbie. Y'all Ken and Barbie you know? on this one. <laughs> oh, I feel like. In all, in all, in all, that was a good. That in was a good. Honesty, it was in all honesty, if, we, if we're being honest, Mm-hmm. We have the most highlights. I just, I just want to put that out there. Like, if it wasn't for you and I, I don't know what they do. <laughs> I'm going for forty today. Stra- strawberries, <laughs> strawberries, strawberries and lemons, man. I don't know what blood's yapping about. Strawberries and lemons, man. Let's go around the room. Start with some strawberries. Let's go with you, Jern. Strawberries uh, this week. Oh, man, you got I mean, your truck back. Be happy. Oh yeah, yeah, I got my truck back. God I'm damn, back on the road. Back on the road again. <laughs> Uh, lemons again. You know, it's just kind of been a a pretty even kill week this week. So, I don't know if I really have any strawberry or lemons. Before you go last, for everybody that's just joining that's us, crazy. people that may be new to the podcast, you know, I'm saying this your first episode. At the start of each one, we try to do uh, strawberries and lemons. We go around the room. Strawberries, obviously, something good that happened for you, and a lemon is something bad that happened for you, or just something you weren't satisfied with. Just to give a disclaimer. So yeah, last come on. You know. <sighs> When God. life gives you strawberries. I should have let this nigga go last. I, sh- I knew it. I knew you it. You make strawberry it. lemonade. It's, I know it's not what you're going to say. It might have just been. I'm you not going to lie to you. See, the thing you. is, life gives you strawberries and lemons. Preach, preach you know? it. All right? And... Why well, keep moving? <laughs> <laughs> he got, he's Yo. literally trying to get in the groove. This is out of control. <laughs> all right. Nah, um, you know, I see, um, everything is... Everything is everything. Everything is in alignment. Okay, hey, Lauren Hill now? What the fuck? Oh, little... <laughs> <laughs> everything is in alignment. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, every, everything is just a matter of time. Um, and I don't really have any limits necessary, necessarily because, and the big man taking care of everything, you know? Um, I'm thankful to be here. Thankful for my family, my friends. Not you guys, my other friends. Damn. And uh, Maddie, I'm thankful for Maddie. Um, and, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, you know, we're here. God bless. Oh. Right. Okay. I'm programmed. All right. <laughs> Maddie? Well, you know, for the sake of obviously me and Laz being on the same page, I second what he says. Um, Come on. <laughs> um, but life oh, has brother. been amazing. Life has been so good, guys. I actually don't have any lemons, strawberries. Um, I had my website launch on Tuesday. It was a huge success. Come on. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all weren't there, it but... It was um... amazing. Um, it surpassed um anything that i could have imagined and like he said the big man upstairs is handling it all so um i'm just thankful i don't have any lemons i'm just grateful let's hear kwan kwan look like one big old lemon (laughs) (laughs) my lemon is i I gotta look at last that's my limit (laughs) how about that no my real limit is i can't say what i want to say but i ain't get the sneakers i want to say today that's tough. Jern feels my pain. That's a That's little bit show. <laughs> sometimes you want to get the fours. Sometimes you, you know what I mean? Shut up. Anybody ask you. <laughs> Strawberries. Being alive. I'm here. Uh, Thankful. Uh, 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 staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> staying alive. <laughs> cozy. Uh, yeah, so my strawberry is. A weak-ass tattoo. It's not. That. It's not. <laughs> oh, oh, we got some haters in the Damn, building, y'all. Did y'all crazy. know? It's my son. Some hating ass. He, he wanted to get the same tattoo as me. It's my son. I got color. He's the prototype. It is a little sassy. He's the prototype. You. <laughs> He's the prototype. <laughs> Getting tattoos is sassy now, guys. I don't know if you if you know if you put ink to your skin, you're sassy. But if you're a man and have a tattoo, you're sassy. It's a sass apocalypse. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I don't, I don't that, even know. That T.O. Strawberry Dilemma. <laughs> <Dilemma's laughs> I mean, that's the craziest yes, thing I ever heard. Ourselves. This is a good topic, Jesus y'all. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Go ahead. Yeah, I got, I got my tattoo. It's just finished. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got it. You know, all right, all right, not too much. Come nice, on, come on, you come know on. what I'm saying? Color. You feel me? My lemon. <clears throat> um, it snowed. Snowed today. Kind of so, day. Yo, I definitely got back and I was mad when I seen the snow. I'm not gonna lie, because there wasn't no people. snow in Pittsburgh when I was there. Mm. And I came home and I'm like, this is bullshit. There are some people who would love to see snow, but has never seen it before. But I understand. Mm. I understand. Can he just to say his limit? I'm sorry. You know what? I'm God sorry. damn. That was so sassy of me. Shit. <laughs> <God> <laughs> this. What? It's a little sassy of me. What's I'm going sorry. on? I think it's sassy to say that that's sassy. <laughs> you can't do shit. You can't do shit in this world just, without being called sassy, I was about sassy, to say bro. sit in peace, but that might be too sassy too. Never mind. Depending on how you sit. Sassy. Yeah, Matt, you gotta. Oh yeah. Let me not. Uh, what I, how, do I, how, do I, how do I sit, sit, like, sit like a this, man? How do I sit like a manly sassy. man, bro? You know? So, Matty, you got a list. You gotta have a list. <laughs> what's what's everything? <laughs> what's sassy? Gave it you probably did, go to your notes. It's probably finish your strawberries and your lemons yet. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I know it don't matter now. I mean, I feel like now that's my lemon. <laughs> I'm sassy. I'm the sass master. That's your Snow, the know? sass master is So wild. I actually did get a list from Twitter, though. It's not my own <laughs> oh, list. Do you have a list, fuck? though, is the question. Um, I have certain preferences and certain things that I really don't want to say because the viewers is going to flame me. So you got a list. Okay, cool. Just out of why, curiosity, why, why would they find number count to your list? How many, th- how many things I are listed on I don't have a there? number count. It's just certain preferences okay. that I have. Like, it's All right. just... So about 642 things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it honestly 42 changes. 42 while it be wasted. It, 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 it honestly changes. Uh, for me, um, nose piercings. Cook. I look good with my nose piercing. <laughs> Damn. Cook I ain't going to take it. It's my own preference. So I think sassy, we always say this in every episode, but everybody's opinion is always subjective to what their preference is. So for me, oh, dating a man with a nose piercing is just. He's sassy. It's just not for me. It's not for me. Ain't nobody say that with pocket has piercing. Yeah, I was always gonna say that. And I don't think that people would necessarily look bad with piercings in their nose. It's just like every if I'm gonna date with somebody, I'm I'm telling you my focus is like, oh, this man got a nose piercing. But like what does sassy mean though? Like what does that mean? Like, oh, he's a sassy man, so now what? I think when people say sassy, uh <clears throat> um, men have some um feminine attributes everything and is then a feminine it makes now. you it makes you well at least for me i kind of try to figure out where that stems from like who did they grow up with like did they grow up around a lot of women which is why they have these tendencies um was their father in their lives um do they have older brothers like do they have good friendships and men like i look at it in that perspective as well but like when i say sassy i think like it's funny but like i think really calling men sassy to their face is rude i do like i would never call a man i was dating like sassy like that's ignorant but if I call you sassy, then I don't respect you. Like, there's no respect there. I feel like sassy is just gay with a silencer. I'm sorry. Mm, I don't disagree. I do <laughs> not disagree. I'm honest, not going to lie. Because I feel like a lot of traits that would be assigning to men saying this is sassy. Yeah. Ten years ago, you're gay. Let's get to the list that I got on my phone, though, because they was wild. And there was some stuff that I was like, dang, they really, men can't breathe. For real. No, I saw no, something. They said they said men can't walk outside with an umbrella. I swear to yeah. God, that yeah. might have been the funniest one I've you seen. Can't walk you can't outside walk outside with, outside with an umbrella. Let me, let me read you guys <laughs> some things. It says things masculine men aren't allowed to do. Um, according to social media, because it's sassy. Twitter. Eat bananas. Yeah, off of Twitter. <laughs> eat popsicles. Eat lollipops. Eat kale. Kale. Eat salad. Like the leaf. Do, like the green leaf. Like the leaf. <laughs> do yoga. I know somebody Dance that do generally. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm Niggas so can't hit sassy. a two-step right. in the club. Go to brunch. <laughs> wow. I'm going to brunch. I don't give a fuck. One thing about it, if my man can go to brunch with me, it's not my man because they if you know me, you know I love brunch. So I'm like brunch. Sassy I like brunch. We, I, we I, mimosas. Mimosas. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Um has many female friends. Dang, I fit this list to a T. If you go to a movie uh, with a male friend or two, this is fuck? crazy. Ride a bike. Dang. The fuck? Exercise? <laughs> they already said you can't do yoga. It says, wait, hold on, y'all. It says cry. Dang. Not cry. Wow. Not cry. It says cry and then y'all not cry. Do, y'all can't do we can't. So what you want me to do? <laughs> Explode. <laughs> <laughs> Explode. <laughs> Explode. Wait, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know on Twitter who made this list, but yeah, y'all is going crazy. It says run for the bus. 
That is, that is kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. I'm not going to say that. But running for the bus is kind of crazy. You got to wait. You got to wait. Another one coming. <laughs> I will say I will say this is why I think it's sassy. This one says smoking hookah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matthew. A hookah man is not the man for me. Do not smoke hookah. What's wrong with hookah? I don't know. It just look it's a little. It's just giving I mean, sassy. Like you when you make O's with the mouth with the smoke. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> yeah, I if I see you. a man doing that in a God video, forbid a man relax yeah. and enjoy himself. Nah, that's that's a little <laughs> that's too. That's crazy. You need to work till you die. Too. It says, <laughs> yeah, it says using umbrella. <laughs> That's what I said Yo, earlier. So you just want me to walk outside, outside, outside and rain, like, got, well, I'm a man. Yes. I ain't, I ain't, ain't got to go to work or none, so I'm just get soaking actually, wet. I don't think I see a lot of men using umbrellas, to be honest. I don't. I but do. if I wanted to, I, I couldn't. Do y'all use umbrellas, though? I do. Hell yeah. Yes. No. Georgia wear hats. Wear I wear hats, hats, too, but that don't mean I don't use an umbrella. When was the last time you used an umbrella? Last time it was motherfucking raining. That was today. Did you use an umbrella? It wasn't raining where I was at. Mm. Mm. Okay. How convenient. <laughs> hey, I just said I was in Pittsburgh. It says order Starbucks. Dang, this is Fuck crazy. Starbucks Fuck anyways. I'm, I, we boycotting Starbucks. I'm boycotting Starbucks. Sleep on your now. stomach. I'm just doing wow. it. Wow. What? I'm sleep on your stomach. On your stomach. Sassy lassie. <laughs> sleep on your stomach is crazy. Yeah, you got to sleep on your back. Not be the like leader in the friend group of males. Oh, I ain't got to worry about that. Huh? Shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> Oh look, it's another cozy follower. Oh, cozy! You say be light skin. Cozy. I'm, hey, hey. I like how you got the default. Hey, hey. 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 light skin, say, but I'm still a dog. Comment on this episode if you think I'm light skin. I've been going back and forth with my friends about this for a very long You're time. You're not light skin. You're brown skin. Matt didn't lie to that man. Thank you. Oh, and he okay. got light skin tendencies. Keep going with but it says refer to yourself as Himothy. Oh my God, I hate that. Last, that's definitely last. That's definitely last. Do not say Himothy. I am the other day last said I'm just a Himothy like that. Takes me every time. I'm just him. <laughs> Hit me Neutron. You I'm not even. Yeah, on this list, it's 171. Ridiculous. Yeah, please don't read that entire list. Ridiculous. Yeah. You can just like five more. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm let's like do it. Like, we could do, we do five more. Like First. two more? Okay, let me. Yeah, that's, that's insane. It says, um, blow out the candles on your own birthday cake. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, why is this me? Is this I mean, anybody does that, that, though. Like, what? <laughs> you do he does it sassy. Yeah. <laughs> share your IG handle. Wow. What do you mean share? God hey. forbid niggas want a network. <laughs> I'm trying to make some money. I can't. Hey. This, nah. this doesn't it seem... says like anime in general. That's all. all right, that's fight me. What's they at me? Fight me. What's they at me? I got some. I got a bone to pick with that. Nah, uh, I got some. Where the Sasuke? Was there anything that was serious on there? Because I don't feel like any of that was like. It says working nine to five. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Like, come on, shut that shit off. Shut, close um, that. Close that. In the cold. But it's, it's, gen, it's you know it's genuinely. <laughs> We're gonna kill it. It's crazy. It's not even uh, your fault. It's just it's your body. <laughs> let's, let's last go. It's genuinely what. Wait, last one. It says listen to Drewski. Did you go to the concert? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now they cook it last for real. <laughs> Dang, I'm sassy, and I don't care. Girl, <laughs> yo, what <laughs> tripping? No, nah, but uh, genuinely, like you know, it, it, it's it's I see all the time uh, via Instagram and or Twitter where like one of the, one of the biggest things that stood out to me was when a woman was talking about they don't want their man dancing or something like that, and I'm just like, excuse me, you don't mm-hmm. want him to be, you don't want him to have fun, mm-hmm. like. Out of all things, you don't want him to have fun. That's just like, it, and you know what? Honestly, a lot of times it's, you, well. <laughs> no, go ahead. And <laughs> <laughs> when you say like certain stuff, it just, things just trigger in my mind. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen that Boondocks episode when dad came home. He was like, did I just catch you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was red but, hot. Yeah, it's like you know you, you you don't want the you don't want that man having fun or something like that. It's like we're, we're you know we're every, in in everything that has become a trend. It's like at what point do we draw a line? And who made this a thing? Like, and who are you? Nah, you really know? though. Because in all honesty, start, if, if, if if people were serious <laughs> about that list, in all honesty, besides the hookah and the anime, everything on that list, I do. I will blow out my birthday cake candles. I will cry and not cry. Um, and, uh, I do do yoga if I want to, 
naked. I mean, not naked. Yo, yo, know, yo, I'm yo, saying, yo, I'm saying, yo, I'm saying, yo, what? All right. What? Bad. Um, <laughs> you're done. You're done. Moving but, on. Um, you know, and, and you know what? You know what? I, j- I even get my nails done. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm getting okay, a manicure. I would say, I'm a little man that gets manicures and pedicures. Like, but you real. hate a nose ring. I hate a nose ring. I, I got a question. Take a shot. Tread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shot. Can you fight me? What? <laughs> Who's now, that question for? Now, 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 we, now we all got to fight anybody, behind our ass. <laughs> that's for anybody that want to say anything about sass. Why you mean? Choose it. Like, <laughs> can you beat me? <laughs> we show violence. <laughs> y'all heard what that means, y'all, man. Do y'all be seeing Laz lift uh, during the daytime? I wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> Oh, it's just a little something, something. Ain't nothing. Like, you know. Everything on him is strong. Even his legs. Oh, can gosh. Jump high, y'all. Everything <laughs> on him is strong. I think. <laughs> I, can't follow that. I tried I think, to move past that part. I think that. Uh, I think that it's just used as a means to demean men. Um, I feel like lately in life, a lot of men have just been coming more into themselves and just being more. That's what's wrong with themselves. these females. <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. This is a joke. Cancel him, not us. <laughs> but I, I feel like that's the thing, and and women don't like that. Like, if you get blocked by a man, they be like, oh, that's a that's a that's a woman thing to do. No, oh, I'm definitely blocking. Yeah, but that's but that's that's what it used to be. I don't think I ever blocked like, I But I feel like if I'm I'm blocking you, I'm using this for this this intended purpose. Like I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to do nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even the the manicure stuff. I'm really like ten years ago. A lot of this stuff, like I said before, was deemed like gay, and they're just sure. putting sassy on it as to be politically correct. But the first man that I ever seen have get a, get a manicure like consistently while I was in high school was uh was actually my best friend, rest in peace, um, Maurice. Like and at first right, I was sorry. I was calling him like yo like it's a little gay like mm-hmm. I'm you know <laughs> last one they got it done for the first time said so, um, okay I, but I then you, you know doing? you know as a, as as time went on and I you know I got it done myself it was like oh I understand you like the way your toes feel like <laughs> yeah I understand it's, it's, I it's understand. a great feeling I'm not it's a great feeling. <laughs> I Why understand. is it a great feeling? Why did everybody else would just wiggle their toes when do she said that? <laughs> <laughs> do it tickle when y'all get your feet up? No. no. <laughs> oh, y'all just don't laugh on purpose? No, no it just don't tickle. tickle. And if it did, it's sassy. <laughs> Guarantee that's on the list. Yeah, <laughs> if a man is ticklish, it's not on there, sassy. we just gave him an idea yeah, to put it on there. Tell us real, cause if, I, if me and my man go, he just giggling next to me after some rubbing. He can't be ticklish? No. That's an involuntary response of his nervous system. What? No. I have a or like if y'all know the massage chairs, like well, I go to the one in the mall and like the, that, it, it uh it massage your butt too. You never been that one? No. Oh, but yeah, that too. Like you got if I don't hear you say, can you turn this off? I think. Cause he like, can't want to relax his body you, using a mall massage chair. That's broke girl behavior. I have something. <laughs> what you want to say, brother? I'm not into this, but the male G spot is in the. All I'm right. just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. What are we talking? We gotta turn his mic off at this point. I'm just saying. We gotta turn his mic off at this point. I can't. I can't. I'm just Jesus Christ. Right my bad. Sorry. Laz, you like anal? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Hey, Cody, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to WCCP <laughs> After Dark. <laughs> no, no. In all honesty, we can get on that topic. First no, of all, no, no, no. Don't go not, anywhere not. near my rectum. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh We're going to stay God. away from all of that. I don't play that. Jerner, mm-hmm. why? Nope. <laughs> why, Jerner? Hey, man. <clears throat> why not? Somebody actually you. What you mean, why not? Because you know where did that come from? He just said, uh, in all honesty, the man G spot is in his. No, I mean, that's where it's at. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, giving out information. But what does it have to do with the price of gas? We or were the cost of the about that. They were talking about they were talking No, about they wasn't it. talking about that. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Matt, oh, just... you're talking about when I said the involuntary response to the nervous system? No, we were talking about the massage in the butt. Oh, Nobody said nothing oh, about the G-spot, part. though. Oh, but oh, I was saying, I see, she what, he, said I see if, what you're saying now. She said, if someone likes that, I'm going to look at you like, mm, okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I mean, if he likes it, hey, you know, that's, it is what it is. I'm just a guy. <laughs> Yo, shut up. <laughs> Maddie, as a woman... Who has to deal with <laughs> who has to deal with this uh sassy nigga apocalypse? Um do you do you just feel like though that it's kind of putting men into a box? 
Um, I do feel like it, it puts men into a box, especially when it comes to social media. Um, I don't think you guys, like, really adhere to social media or fall into the traps of it. I think you guys are definitely, like, well... Um, you got you guys are self aware. You guys know yourselves, um, but a lot of other people like they take offense to it when women place them into a box. Like women, they're like, oh, you know, men are new females. I know you heard that they say men are new females. Like that's crazy. They always say that, but um, I think it's just. It's subjective to the person. Like I keep saying that because it really is subjective. It's all about like who you choose to date, who you choose to not date, and what you deem to be sassy, which you deem not to be sassy. Um, <coughs> But yeah, I trying to place people in a box, except it's just preferences. So like my thing, like I said, I preferences. Like it is okay, but I'm upfront about it about the nose ring. Like, I'm, <coughs> listen, I'm sorry, I don't do that. Man, go to action. Oh, 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 and it's it's not sassy, but preference. You can't have hair. You can't have hair as long as me or hair longer than me. Now you're just jealous. <coughs> now you're jealous. I'm sorry. I know you're gonna dog me out on this little podcast when the when the, when the episode come out. <laughs> That's just my preference. No harm, no Damn, foul. Girl, thank God you cut your hair. She's envious of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it, me. The internet isn't a real place. And a lot of these things come from the internet and not in actual reality. I just want to put that out there. Nah, some because, people live by this. No, nah, but like, in, in, all, in all honesty, what, who have you come by that said, um, well, you, I don't know, riding a bike is sassy or, 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 or feminine, you know, um, or... You know, uh, what what do we talk? Oh, dancing is mm-hmm. is relatively feminine. Um, like who who have you come by that has actually said these things or have alluded to them, whether in just conversation with yourself or I don't know. A lot of people have said that. A lot of women have said that. A lot of people that I know have said things like that. Like for me, I love a man that dances. Like you gotta know have a good time. Like I mean, I see when I'm outside, I have a good time. So it's only right that you could you have to match my energy when I'm outside, for or sure. just like in general, like when we're having a good time. Even if we're in the house dancing, like I don't deem that to be sassy. Like being self aware is like important when it comes to men, and I think when it comes to dating, as long as you know who you are and you and I know who I'm dating, I don't really care about like social media things or what they say or this little sassy list but it's certain things that i'm like yo listen gotta watch out <laughs> but um, i mean even though you do say it's just the internet people will see shit on the internet and, and then adapt it to their real lives they, they will, live, they about will it definitely like live by maybe it, they really is sassy or regardless of the case. social media makes a big impact on people's yeah. impressions and and it honestly like People people look at that stuff as validation and it really does like infiltrate like the dating scene, especially in Buffalo. Like, oh my gosh, let y'all see something on the internet or somebody says something or the dating pool sucks because it's got pee in it. Yeah, it does. But also, like, you know, on the um when we talk about when we talk about sassy men, like there's a lot of things that um people say about independent women. I, oh, yeah. You know, I have God forbid you could do refrained. For <laughs> I, I have transitioned from that uh, independent woman rapture. I do want a man. I want a husband. You know, uh, God says no man. I mean, no, yeah, no man should be alone. So like, no person should be alone. Um, I used to think like, oh, I don't need a man. I could do this all by myself. Like, I don't need a man to do this. It got to a point where I was going on dates. I was opening my own door, even though they wanted to do it. I'm like, man, or I'm like, y'all, first date I'm gonna have because you know you must think that you paying for everything. Like I had a different mindset because. I, I just I just couldn't I just couldn't let a man get one up on me and say that he did something for me. And I think that was just based off like past things that I was past trauma, past history, relationships and things of that nature. And I was just like, I can get all this by myself. Like what could what could you do for me? But in hindsight, it's a lot of things that men can do for me. That's not that's not intimate because I ain't with that. But I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not gonna get on that. Um but there's a lot of things well, that men mean, can with, but... do for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, f- I feel like that's a good like um i like how you put that um but i feel like it's two ends of a spectrum almost in the way that we have to act within society and i feel like for a very long time men have had to be like oh i'm a, I'm a man like you know what i'm saying they had to present as that for so long it's like you're pulling a rubber band back eventually it's either gonna snap or it's just gonna go forward not to say that it's completely like reversed into like a completely feminine territory but i feel like that's kind of what's happening and men are like embracing that mm-hmm. part of their own energy you know what i'm saying and vice versa with women i feel like they've had to be put into that box of being this incredibly feminine soft mm-hmm. woman so now 
the band is broke on that too and now it seems like they're becoming hyper independent and now they want to be mm-hmm. <clears throat> they want to be the man in the way that they would say that the men want to be the women mm-hmm. and how that goes you uh, said you uh, uh we live on a spectrum right for sure uh, in regards to our masculinity and quote unquote uh femininity um we live on a spectrum um so like it doesn't matter i agree I, 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 that's kind of okay. like that's kind of like what I was saying. I feel like you know uh, because we're men, we're gonna present more masculine. We're gonna be more masculine just naturally. It's in your yes, it's in your nature. Yes, but but we still have, have feminine tendencies. Exactly, exactly. We're again on a spectrum. Yeah, and I feel like it's been binary for so long <clears throat> that you have to just be masculine if you're yeah. a man, and you have to just be feminine if you're a woman. Now that we're in this, now that things are regressing to the mean, and everybody's kind of like finding a balance in themselves, people are saying, well, this isn't. Like to go back to the boxes, this isn't fitting exactly in that box. This is this is weird. This is odd. This is sassy, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then they say the same thing with the women. They say, "Oh, you want to be a man?" Like not to say you want to be a man, but in those situations you was talking about, you don't want to let nobody open the door for you because oh, I, I, I can. I, I Maddie want to be a man. So, I can listen, do it. So I, was, I was okay. So <clears> I was gonna get on that. So that's what I was gonna say because, like, for me, I used to be like. Like I, I get along more. I get along with a lot of people, but I get along with uh, you know, men better because like it's it's less catty, it's less drama. But I used to be like, like, and my friends say it. Like I'll say it sometimes, but I actually have stopped speaking that over my life. Where I'd be like, you know, I'm 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 one of the men. Like I'm one of the n the n words. Like, I'm one of the guys. And that's how that's niggas? how you're not myself. using the n words. Like, <laughs> I'm one of the, the, the n words. I'm one of the yes. n words. You're a nigga. Like, have you like history months? I ain't saying it. But literally, like I'll be like, I'm one of the guys. Did you like, give it up a look? <laughs> <laughs> I am hot damn. I that am, was fucking good. What'd you say? <laughs> she, she said, What'd you give it up for Lent? <laughs> God damn. What? That's a scorcher. <laughs> Fan her off, Quan. That was that was a, that was a hot. <laughs> But yeah, I do say I am one of the guys, but I had to, um, when it, it shows up in dating, it's like a man does not want to date a girl that um, can't enter into her femininity. Mm-hmm. Like, and for a while, like I couldn't, it was a lot of stuff where I was not allowing a man to be a man and uh, gave, I wasn't giving him the space to be a man. Like, I'll be like, I would pants around here. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not asking you for, I don't ask men for money. Like, you know how some women are like, oh, you have to do this for me, you have to pay a certain amount of bills. And I'm, for me, it's not like that. Like, I don't ask you for anything. But also, when it comes to independent women, I ain't working on my femininity, but also, like, men have to also be able to receive a woman like me, too, because, like, I don't depend on men. And, like, I would like to, but, like, you have to be ready for me to depend on you, number one. But then also, number two, you have to understand that, like, I'm not going to want to be up under you 24-7. I'll make time for you when I have time, but I'm not a clingy girl. Like, I'm not a clingy girl. I have my own life. We have our own friends. Like, you have some women who just want to be up under their men 24-7, which is not an issue if that's okay for you. But for me, it's just like, we have our own lives. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the night, we're going to come back together. Like, you know, we're going to make time. Like, when I date, I make schedules. I'd be like, yo, Monday, Wednesday, whatever days, whatever y'all have time for is what I have time for. Like you make time for who you want to make time for. And I truly believe in that. But also like some men are just like, you never want to spend time with me. Like, do you really mess with me because of how you act? But some men have to understand, like I'm this type of woman. It's like, I do like you and I really mess with you. I'd be head over heels for some people, but at the same time, I'm not going to allow this relationship or whatever our dating situation to interfere with everything else I got going on. Because like, it doesn't start with you. It doesn't end with you. You came in the middle and like, we can be something or we can't, but you got to get on board. But I also had to switch from it being the Maddie's way or no way. I had to meet people in the middle and find common ground when I date when I date them. Because if it wasn't my way, I was going like I was I'm a ghoster. <laughs> I'm a ghoster, a big ghoster. I do not play ghost block. You will never hear from me again. I might see you in public and act like I never <clears> said you <throat> before. And um, that's an issue. But working on my femininity, um, I'm trying to be more open. I'm trying to be more open and more loving and going on dates and even going on dates. Um, I'd be like, I don't know, I got this. And some people are like, no, I just want to pay. And I'll be like, okay, but they're like, I'll still leave a tip. Like, I just can't let it up. Um, so sometimes I just have to do it because it's like, I don't I don't want a man to everything like I'm using. I'm like, I don't, I'm not using you for money. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going back to my friends like, yeah, girl, he's a lick. Ah, ah, ah. All that. Like, that's not me. I used to be like that. I used to be like, girl, this man just did this, this, and this, but like, 
what's the point of it? Like, that's why I didn't have nothing. So do you feel like <clears throat> during those times you had a problem with, like, submission? Yeah. Like, you got to be worthy for me to submit to you, honey. Okay? And they wasn't. They wasn't. That's respectable, I feel like. For sure. Yeah, that's respectable. I think that goes both ways, too, though. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of men want to be um leaders in relationships and they want to be this person who is like oh i'm gonna find a way and i need you to get in line to blah 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 to do that mm -hmm. but i feel like in if men can submit to women then i mean if women can submit to men then men should also be able to submit to women not in the same way but to be a good leader you have to take into account the people that you're leading mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so if i'm just going around <clears throat> with the woman in front of me and um, telling her, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do that. I can't let it go. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you just say if men can submit to men, then women can submit to men too? No, he didn't say that. He said yeah. men can submit to women. women no, nah, he said to men to men, I think. No, it wasn't. If he men can submit that. to women. I swear I think yeah, that's what I said first. You know what I meant, meant to say. But, yeah, women you know can I still had to clarify. I don't care. Anyways, what I was saying was, what I was saying was is that I feel like <laughs> well, that's the end of this podcast, guys. I just wanted to let, thank y'all for coming out. But yeah, same same situation yeah, is what I was saying is that for men to be good leaders, they also have to know that it's okay to submit to a woman and to take their ideas. Because if you don't, then you're a bad leader. Yes, for sure. Come mm. ground, come ground, and be a man that could lead. Be a man that could lead, but also be a woman that could be understanding and that can meet you in the middle. You got to meet people in the middle. You got to meet people where they at. Um, and, and I don't mean settle. I mm -hmm. mean be understanding. Like really understand. Figure out what it is that you both want. And if it's not what you want, then separate. Don't force it. Yeah. But leave. Leave. And I had to learn that on my own because forcing stuff. Um, I was just about that, to say people got to have Forcing stuff. Leaving. It's like, what, what is this? Like that, that taxi, that taxi cab theory. It's like that taxi cab theory, like you're forcing things because of the times in your life. Like you think like it has to happen at that exact moment when it doesn't. It's just like you may see some things on social media. Like I will, I'll be honest and say yesterday, I love love, but I was like, dang, I'm at home watching Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy by myself. Even though I just had an amazing cool. week, Valentine's Day is a man-made holiday or whatever, but it's like, you know, I that's love that that's happening for more. everybody, but I want that for myself. So I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm up here praying, like, God, how can I get that for myself? Like, God, I want the husband, like, whatever it is that I need to do, God, please just, you know, work in me and, and do a work for me and just, like, you know, guide my steps so that I could, you know, obtain that. And as long as you ordained it and you said that this is, like, what you have for me, then do that for me when I'm ready. And I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm spiritually or emotionally or, or anything, like, ready for a relationship right now. But um, that taxi cab theory is really like, it, it may be an age thing, it may be a part of your life. You may be going through like a, a midlife crisis where it's like, dang, I'm not married yet. I don't have kids or whatever, so be it. But you know, when you're young too, I, I don't know if everybody else did it, but for me, oh my gosh, I was supposed to be married with kids by 25, I turned 25. Uh -uh. The only thing that I didn't do was have a man to get married. I was like, dang, that's the life. But I checked off every other goal and it's because like, God, that's not what God wants for me right now, but it took me a while to understand it. So like from 18 to, to 20, 24, 25, whatever you want to call it, I was forcing relationships because I was trying to get to this goal of being married because of that taxi cab theory. And it's like, you don't realize it until you're in it, but it's like, in a sense, you're settling because it's just like, okay, you got to make this happen before it's too late. Ooh. Am I confused as to how she's using that or no? Uh, uh, Am I using that in the wrong way? No, you kind of. What? I don't yes. know. It's like, it's okay, like you're using so it in the right way that you don't. And I'll be like back and forth. I'm like, is that it right? It was a little confusing. Okay. But, but you got the essence Some of it. Some of it. Yeah, yeah. You got the essence yeah. of it. Taxi cap there is more like when you, you've you done you've done everything you want. And then you kind of um. just like settle. More so, it's like I was saying, that's, that's the I part said. I was confused about. Like, what that's the fuck is the taxi cab no, theory? Not. Shit, ain't going but on. You was kind of, I you thought you were saying it more so, like, setting like a goal. Like, all right, I kind of want to be this by this. Oh, like, no, like, type. I was saying, like, I, yeah, like, I, I guess, like, I checked off everything, and then it's like, this is the last thing. Like, this is what I wanted. So, I'm about yeah, to so just settle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like, okay, I'm about yeah, to, yeah. I I'm thought you was, thank you, talent. It's sassy when you correct women. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not being sassy. I was like, first of all, I'm trying to I lead her to the light. The theory. I researched the theory. First. So I'm like, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I checked off all the goals this that I was supposed much. to make off. I was supposed to check off, 
But that one was like, okay, God, like, let me just, I'm going to force these relationships. I'm going to really try to be invested because before I was just ghosting people. Like I was, I was being a player. I was playing people's feelings. I was being manipulative. <laughs> and then I just was like, okay, let me really, let me really change this around and really try to make things work so I can make this goal by 25. See, and but that's the part right there that you confused me. What? About the taxi cab theory. Whatever. Just, what? Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, so What's it's it? like so it's like when I think of the taxi cab theory, I'm thinking of, I'm going here, I'm gonna live my life, whatever the case may be. And once I feel like I got all these things done, it's like we're kind of saying the same thing, but then it's like at the end, it's like you like, oh well, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to accomplish this goal. But it's more so like once I've done, like I feel like I can't do anymore. To me, that's what the taxi cab theory is. It's kind of like retirement. Okay, so it's like I'm hanging up my jersey out the out the players club, and they'll be like, you know what? Let me get one last ride. And then whoever it is, like, I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's Becky, Sue, or mm-hmm. Ann, whoever it is. That's who my last who rides with. Why can you use all these white Yeah, and I, like yeah, this, that's kind of, that's kind of <laughs> what happened. <laughs> That's kind of what you want me to say, Shark Quisha, Bone Quee Quee. Hey, it's Black right. History, man. You use the ghetto <laughs> names, man. Use the <laughs> ghetto names during Black History Month. They crazier. I can't lie. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> now, if somebody's name is Bone Quisha, whatever y'all was saying on there, they're going to be mad at just like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bone Quee Quee. We love all, <laughs> we love all the Bone Quee Quees and Shark Quishas out there. <laughs> so, with that being said, Maddie, what do you feel like it is that you're looking for then? Honestly, I don't know, which is why I'm not. A man, right. duh. She just said it. Just, <laughs> just she don't know what type of man. Just I a man. Went, I, I just went, a man without I a nose ring. I went like the ages twenty five to eighteen, thinking that I knew what I wanted in a man, and I think I, I and I know now that I don't. Like I really have to figure it out before I say okay. Like I know I want a husband, but I'm not ready to receive that because what you want in a I'm man so at picky. Is crazy. I'm picky. I got preferences. I was like eighteen is wild. Do the next anime I wanted to start. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get married. Like I thought I was gonna be married. Like I was in a five year relationship. Like it was crazy. Aww. You thought that was the one, huh? Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did, but mm. that's what I'm saying. Like I was just like, and then I just started settling. I'm like, you know what? Like, okay, let me just date somebody because I mean I'm bored. And I want bored. And, crazy. and I and I want a boyfriend. So why not? Let's let's you know let's let's do this. But then I would get whoever tired. the onboard person was. You was a test dummy for her. You know her. It was it was a her. lot was of them. A, like that's what dummy. I'm saying. Like once I would get tired or whoever I was dealing with, I would talk to the next person and I would lie to the guy and be like, oh, I can't talk to you because this is and this. I was that person like, oh, my mom calling me. I'm gonna call you back and I never yeah. hear from never hear from me again. Like so sorry to all the men that I hurt. No, she not. I'm sorry. You just started a vicious cycle. No, I got people they, they Yeah, say, nah, he about to go out there and gotta, start the cycle say of hatred. You got to announce your sins to be forgiven. So I'm sorry because I was. You know how many people got hurt because you hurt somebody? Yes, hurt people, hurt people. And I was hurt, so I was hurting other people. Oh, thanks for saying what I said, but I'm louder. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maddie, that's a great point. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great point. Thank you. Thank you. What about you guys, though? I know you guys had, um, you, you had a long term relationship, right? Mm. <laughs> what about your taxi cab? Do 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 I don't really know. I don't really. I don't really understand the taxi cab theory. To be honest with y'all, to see, I here. can explain it. Okay. Um, sure. Explain <laughs> Did you read it. the notes? I'm sorry to cut you off, I mean, brother. No, you know, but go ahead. Okay. It. So essentially, the taxi cab theory is kind of like what John was saying earlier. But you get to a point in your life, and you you might not have been ready to settle down before. You ripping and running, you going everywhere, blah 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 blah. And then you look at yourself, and you're like, damn, I'm like. 50 years old, I'm not married, or it could be any goal, but you're speaking about that. So I'm not married. So like you would go if you was to go to a city and you just need to get in a taxi, you need to get somewhere. So you want to get married. So I need to get somewhere. I need to find a woman to do that. Yeah. The first taxi that comes by, that's the taxi you're going to get in to get to your destination. Doesn't so the first woman looks good or not. Yeah. If this is what, if this is going to get me to where I need to go, then yeah. this is what I'm rocking with. Okay. It's kind of like a, a, a long-term one night stand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but That's I mean, some, I mean, in all honesty, <laughs> it could have been anything. It could, it could be like I mean, you ever have somebody that you just like. I probably wouldn't fuck with them right now, but I know I got them in my back pocket. So yeah. then you like fifty, and you just like, damn, I know this person's still around. Let me call them up. Let's. I know we can make something happen. I mean, I, I yeah, haven't I know been who that fifty is for yet, me. but uh, yeah. But just the idea of it. I'm sorry. You want to say the name? Oh, I know. No, nah, we're not dropping no name. We're not, um, we not Hot Boys podcast. Whatever. Oh, all right. Um, about. <laughs> but you, you asked me about you said something about my relationship, uh, my long term relationship. Yeah. What about it? Like, what do you like? Like, I would say, like, how do you portray? Like, how do you view the taxi cab theory now that you know, um, Cozy has explained it to you? Like, 
Did you ever feel like that? Like, I mean, one of the things that I wanted to talk about when you were talking, um, and you were saying like, "Oh, I'm praying to God about this guy or whatever that that you want in the future, mm-hmm. or making it within, uh, doing something within yourself to make it so that you're ready for him or whatever." Mm-hmm. Um, do we believe in the law of attraction? Like opposites attract, or no, 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 no. Like the law of attraction, like um, you, you can speak things there. into existence mm-hmm. to a certain extent. Right? Um, so you know, I, I also believe in the law of detachment. Mm-hmm. Um, just letting it go and <coughs> letting it come. Like I don't, I don't care. I mean, if it comes, <laughs> like I'm not about to. You know, you you talked about the idea of oh, by 25, I need to be married with mm-hmm. a kid and uh, all this other stuff. Well, it and happens when it happens, or if it don't, it don't. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it does like I would I would like for it to happen, but I don't want to um I, I don't want to be so caught up in it that I that I miss out on my my moments, mm-hmm. you know, my current life. Like if it, again, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's OK. Like if I if I don't have a kid, I don't want that. But if I don't, that's fine. If I don't get married, I don't want that. I do want to be married. But if it doesn't, I'm I'm good as long as I'm living life. Like the the woman doesn't make me happy or a kid, you know. As long as I'm happy within myself, that's all that matters to me. Oh, give a clap for lies. No, Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's, that was cool. No. I, I agree with him. Though. I, mean, like, I agree, but that wasn't agree. like a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I mean, that, that wasn't Appreciate the question, it. but I agree with him. Like, as long as I'm happy within myself, that's all I care about. Anything else, if it comes, it comes. It don't, it don't. I'm not gonna try and force it to happen. Y'all don't look at all. Look at what. Like you don't oh, go looking, yeah. right? I you mean, don't look. No, I mean I'm, I'm not, not lying. You peek out and see, see, what's, <laughs> out see what's going on. Oh look, I'm not gonna say I don't look. look. A woman finds stress. him a good thing. So. I'm about to say I'm not gonna say I don't look, but yeah, I'm not. Finds. I'm not gonna force it. Like if me and that person is not like I might take interest in somebody, mm-hmm. but if I realize we're not meant to be or it's not what it's supposed to be, I'm not gonna sit here and say no. Nah, I'm gonna force it. You gonna be with me? You gonna be my wife? No. You ever been with somebody that you just felt like on paper was good, but it just wasn't hidden for you? Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say no. No, I was no. Why would I? No, nigga, I'm just asking a question. That's Love Boy Kwan right there. Man, that's that is Love Boy Kwan right say, there. I that feel like wild. people look at me like that a lot. Honestly, like I look, it, it looks good, oh, on paper, good, good on paper. When they get to know me, and I'm like, I'm not as feminine as what they expect. They're like, Oh, you love God so talking much. About? You a nice girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody <laughs> ass <laughs> yes. oh, Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like people think I look good on paper, but when they really get to know me, it's like uh, yeah, y'all don't know the Maddie. We you feel like it's a, you feel like it's a different experience. You about. think they got a, an idea of you in your head, but the, the reality is different. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, you out here chugging henny shots with guys. What does that have to like? <laughs> but does that, <laughs> cool. <laughs> but do you feel like that affects? So you feel like because of everything you do and like the persona you put out on social media, you'd be a good girl. Yes. I do consider myself to be a good girl, actually. This innocent look you're giving right oh, look, now, look, it's, look, it's look, gotta go. I think <laughs> the perception I had of you before knowing you was that she does a whole lot. Mm-hmm. And after knowing you, she does a whole lot. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say that you're less feminine. I don't, you know, that would hit, yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> what's good like, g not, you know what i'm saying like it's not i don't see it like you're still very much so like you know a woman mm-hmm. you know i don't you know it's not like you look at you you got your little legs crossed hair done nails done well, everything that. big thank you <laughs> but yeah like you're not really like is this a flirt <laughs> yeah i'm like where are we going just, with this wctb matchmaking no i'm, I'm just like i don't it's we, we get I don't it. know what it. you think people are thinking. Who said this to you? A lot of people. It's not It's not what I think people are thinking. It's like what I know. Like They see me in a certain light, a certain perspective. It's like, oh, you got this, this going on. Like, honestly, like people will ask me, like, they be like, you look like, well, tell me, like, yo, you look like you got it all together. And when I say, like, I don't, they're like, that's crazy. Like, what you do? And I'm like, no, it seems that way. Like, you perceiving it that way. And, like, I feel like people have try to get to know me so that I can help leverage them for sure. For okay. sure. I've I've um, dated people who have just wanted me to help leverage them and put them into a certain spotlight. Like, you know, kind of do things for free when it comes to marketing or or business or things like that. And like I would I'm so nice and I'm so like, you know, I'll go in that help people with their businesses and, you know, things like that. Especially if I'm dating you, it's like, you know, why not? I want to see you do better. But then like especially in the summer I was dating somebody and then 
I seen him with one of my friends at the ice cream shop. That's tough. Um, Sheesh. but like. I mean, that, that's tough. Um, nah, man, that's 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 cold blooded. That's cold blooded. Not one. Sound like you was on a rocky road. Just one of my business. Yo, that was corny. Mm. Um, <laughs> funny, yo, shut up. <laughs> Again, you are uh, uh, you're still very much so yourself, though. Like I don't, I don't like you. You do have it going in, in relation relative to a lot of women, um, especially within the city, um, around your age. I, I think you're and women that are older than you as well. I think you're doing great. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you know you're still learning and growing, but. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean we you we haven't lived the next thirty minutes yet, right? We're right. doing it for the first time. We're all still learning and growing. I haven't been a father yet, so at some point when that happens, I guess I'm cleaning learning and growing it up. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. You said he cleaned it up. He cleaned, cleaned it up. Episodes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was nothing to clean. It was already clean. It's <laughs> do y'all do y'all feel like that? Well, for the guys, do y'all feel like that about yourselves? Y'all feel like you're a good guy. Absolutely, I'm amazing. What makes yep. you a good guy? Turner, you feel like you're a good guy? Uh, I feel like I'm like at that cuff, like the borderline. <laughs> uh-huh. Right there. Honesty mm. is the best policy. How about you, Quan? I'm just a guy. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's I'm the just a guy. Right there. What about you, Cozy? You think he's a guy? Double C and I'm double cup, you know. <laughs> Why did you oh, ask this I mean, question? because oh, no. it's like I've been huh? getting into it for real for us. Like it's having that self awareness to know whether you are a good guy or not. Because you you know there's things that you need to work on, and you but, know what? I will take that back. I'm a good guy. But wait, because of the simple <laughs> fact that I know that there's things I need to work on, and then go ahead, go finish. Ahead. No, no. Go. Oh, I was gonna say because I know that there's things I need to work on in those areas that I need to improve in. So I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm just. A good guy because I feel like I check boxes. I'll be like, oh well, you know he's he's doing what he's supposed to do. He holds open the door. He X Y Z. But it's also I feel like being a good guy is more than that. Like I said, it's more about being self aware in areas that you need to grow into and working to make those places better too. Oh, oh, but all I was gonna say is, well, does that really make you a good guy? And the reason why I'm asking this is because. It should only matter what you think, but just because what you think makes you a good guy might not make the next person think you're a good guy. And that goes like for male or female. Well, this is a question about ourselves, though. Like, do you think you're a good guy? Do you think, you know, if someone else doesn't think it so, you know, it is what it is. That's that's their opinion. Do you think that women care if you're a good guy or not? No. No, I mean, not at all. So I want to say this. I want to say this because... Um, <clears throat> Me being as me being a woman, um, and being you guys friends, like as a friend group, um, and women look at you, you guys are ranked, right? And when you look at this group, Cozy is deemed as the good guy. And that's like the people that that's the last person that they want to go to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like damn. I'll be honest, so, and I'll, Yo. This, is, this is the rank that I think that this like the perspective of women like have when you guys. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a tax I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be the I'm cab. Not, I'm, not I'm gonna be the cab. I'm not included in, in it because he's not here, <laughs> and obviously you know I ain't he right after cozy though. I include him. I say for you. It's last verse, then Quan, then Jern, then you. At least I'm a good guy, you know. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> representing for the for the, for the people been, back home, man. As like being a good guy, where like you're not like, um, you know, you don't you. I, it's so crazy because like you know, women before they get to know you, they perceive you in a different light because of the way yeah. that you look. Like you look like you not shit. You look, you look like you not shit. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I just look almost. You, just, wow. you, okay, you right. dress nice. You dress Damn. nice, and that's what the it's the it's the aesthetic that pulls women. Oh, wow. Towards you before Damn. they know you. Dang, that's wild. And they get to know you and they Dang, be like, shit. Hey, this man. nigga talk too much. Dang, that's <laughs> wild. Dang. I never even heard that. That's wild. Really? Yeah. She never heard that last, talk too much? No, I mean. Nobody really never told you that. No, not, not a woman. woman that I've been talking to. Women. I've actually I mean, only they, hear it from women. They, uh, no, I mean, yeah. In those, I've in actually those, only hear it from women. In those situations, like, 
Yeah, but like so because I'm a good guy, they don't want nothing to do with me. Is what you're saying? <laughs> and you're just cutting me all the way off. Because <laughs> he, 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 he funny. He answers, funny. Man. Go ahead, um, Lash. Go ahead. But man. yeah, no. Nah, in those situations, like women, the, the woman that I'm talking to, she we, we the, the conversation is equal. You know, so like I don't I don't feel like I talk too much, and they, no one has ever complained about me talking too much. If they have, then we weren't talking, honestly. <laughs> that's, 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 that's crazy, but like that's, we weren't talking. Like there's I know no what you one. Mean, there's like no we woman, know what you mean. Yeah, like there's no woman. You're not about to tell. Like no woman has ever said, "Yo, you talk too much." I've been told that I talk too little. You guys think that I talk a lot because I'm very opinionated in this setting, and th- like we do, we do business together. So you know, I like to talk in that in that in that scenario. But uh, otherwise, like let's say for example, when you guys first when we first started hanging out, like back in when we went to ATL or whatever in like 2018, I didn't say nothing the whole time. Well, that's not true. You talked to me a lot. I talked to you minimally. You talked. You didn't. You didn't talk. I a could lot. probably name you three did. words last said to me that entire trip. I definitely didn't talk to him. You were asleep, yeah. but <laughs> you know, yeah, drunk yeah, and no. sleep. First of all, I again, conversation with never mind. If any woman, nobody ever said that, man. Come on, man. Don't play with me. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> Jerner with the hair would have been. Jerner with the hair would have been after Kwame, <laughs> but then you cut that hair and you look like. Yo yo yo! It's like it changed your whole perspective. Damn, that's tough. <laughs> but you cut the hair, I mean, you like, again, you you fuck? said that. When, <laughs> fuck. You, you said that women don't care about if the male is a good guy or not, but it, I I don't I I can't agree. On no, I asked that question. Like I was like, do they do they care? Because they rank you off when like before they get to know you, they rank you off of your looks. Oh yeah, for sure, absolutely. 100%. So that's what I was, yeah, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, but like, bottom line is, well, does he look good? Um, am I attracted to him? Mm-hmm. And then, oh okay, I'm attracted to him. Well, what's his personality like? Am I attracted to that? Is he a good guy? Like, why would I want to bring someone into this that's like about to do me wrong? I just, I just, <clears> you know, <throat> counterproductive, obviously. So you know, at, at the end of the day, yeah, we do. Look for me, but never mind. Honestly, but. honestly, for me, I think that men put on a good show. Like the curtains be, curtains be ready to go. Y'all be putting on that show, but then listen. Give me an example. What? Give me an example of a show that men have put on for you. Um, like when you first meet somebody, you start dating them, and like you just know them, and they they talk a good game about like who they are, and and uh, they they put themselves in a specific light, and then as as you continue to date them, you start seeing red flags. Like, hold no, on, give, this no, ain't no, what no, you said. Give me something. Give me something that. specific. If you can think of anything, if she not, it's, so, it's okay if you can't, but if not, it's it's fine. So, he's not saying her name or anything like that, you know. Say his name. Don't say his name. Speak on that. <laughs> Sassy, come on, no, please. <laughs> Um, I came from West. <laughs> what? Let's let's see. Let me think. Uh, dang, when the curtain is up. <laughs> oh, when like you know, kind of like when they're when um they're just like preparing to. We have a conversation. They say like you know this is something that they want. And they um they want to be with you. They want to pursue something with you. Like and it's not like you. you so like we're lying to you. <laughs> Basically, you could have just said lying. But I mean, maybe in that moment they're not lying to you. Maybe they do want to get to know you and actually, I mean, actually, you know, uh, pursue you. But over time, they see and it changes. You know, with time, times that. bring about a change, and then maybe he's just afraid to say to you, "Hey, this ain't it." Mm-hmm. You know, because now you about two, 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 three months in or whatever, and it's just like. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like it's not hitting Three the same. You scared to say you know? this, ain't it? Um, or he was lying to you to toxic. get what he wanted. Toxic. This is why you're the second one. <laughs> no, or he no. was lying to you to get what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or he yeah. was lying to yeah. you to get yeah. what he wanted. Yeah, and I mean that perspective, like I mean, just but, lying to get what you want, and then and then. Not to say you that get this. it. Yeah. But you just gotta have discernment and and, and know that because like I don't think a lot of women go looking to be played or <laughs> yeah. to get their heart broken. Yeah, but... yeah, they do. I mean, it, it, <laughs> that's, that's they crazy. do. That's. <laughs> They do. Because they won't pick him. So they do. No, I swear to God, they do. They don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They, yeah, they won't. They won't but, pick you. They be like, y'all be seeing the red flags. Y'all just be in love. And <laughs> y'all be like, eh. right. Y'all be like, y'all be, y'all like, be okay, seeing the nigga do I know, shit. I know Cozy's a good guy, but Quan look like he's more fun for the moment. Oh, hey, hey. Why could you use but that? Even, why me? But even if they thought Quan was a good guy, and then they just, they having conversations with Quan, and they be like, 
he getting phone calls all type of hours of the night. Say it's like an old joint calling him. Duh, 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 duh. He leave out the room, answer the phone, <laughs> come back. That's a big ass red flag. They be like, nah. Yes. Yeah, he was just telling her. He, he was just some, telling her some, we some, together. Um, some red flags are green to me. I'm not gonna lie. See, that's what I'm saying. So y'all be <laughs> wanting that to happen sometimes. But uh, uh, we don't go looking for that. And I also have to say, like, some women are. Um, for me, I, I guess. I don't want to, I don't wanna, I'm not calling myself stupid because it's power in the tongue, but um, I think it was just more so like women are forgiving and if they see something in you, they see that you can be, or it's, they fall in love with potential. I fall in love with a lot of potential. I'll say that. Like, I was like, I see that this person could be something. I'm going to work with him right now. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to him about it. I may be mad right now, but I'm going to accept it for what it is and like be self-aware that I'm choosing to continue to date you while recognizing this red flag and seeing if it could turn green. But sometimes people are who they are. And that's what I have to learn how to do. Nine times out of ten people are who they are. <clears throat> Nine times out of ten no, people. Time. No, I feel I'm like, I feel like, like I'm nah, man. I nah. feel like at this point in our Thank lives, you. bro, what you see is what you we get. We should be able to accept that. It's yeah. not even good. I don't think stuff really? like that is going to. Yeah. 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 These are character flaws. These are not, I mean, character traits. <laughs> these are not things that, we're not 18 we anymore. We don't, yeah, oh, we don't have things change to in grow a into. No. You know, like, if, if somebody is like, I don't even. I can't even get think of an example right now. But usually, the people that you see and the way that they are and the things that they do, that's if that's are. a red flag, it's them. back out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's them. It's very hard to change the way you are, and the traits that you have at your core. Mm -hmm. So, but even so, a red that's flag to you something. might not be something to somebody else too. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's like you can come into somebody's life and be like, he's waving the red flags, and you would be like, mm, but I think I could change them. That's where the issue becomes, or you think that something will change down the line. That's the issue, because yeah. he don't even got to lie to you at that point. Mm -hmm. You doing it for him. <laughs> you, you lying to yourself. You lying to yourself. You looking That's past it. everything you know you know what I'm saying? Because all, all, yeah. can change the all he, because if you bring yeah, it up to him, it's like, this, this is just how I am, and you're like, nah, I feel like if we follow each other, da, 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 he see what I do for him, he don't want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Three months down line, yeah. he's That's still taking a phone call from his grandmother. I had, and it's more so like, also like saying like, you know, if I give him a love that he didn't experience, a love that he didn't get from his mom or from his dad or whatever, like, you know, the trauma, like, <sighs> Go to hell. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, like definitely like trying to replace that trauma and, and, and trying to change them. But it's like you can't be the person to change somebody. Like they have to change yeah. on their own. They have to want yeah. to change. And like you, honestly, yeah. the person for you will be for you and they will change for you. And if they don't, then they're not the person for you. And that's just what it is. I don't so even, yes, accepting you for what it is. I don't even think I they'll change. Say, I don't even think they'll change. They'll for just you. be for you. It's they'll like puzzle pieces, you, yeah. I yeah, say. Yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be an exact one to one. I'm not gonna sit here and say that. There are things you can do actively to be like, all right, well. This, but it's not a part of you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it could be really small things. It's like if your girl do say, I want you to open the car door for me. That'll make me feel more secure in this. What? That's like something I can, where it's like, okay, I, yeah, I can work I can with that. that. I can do that. But if you're telling me like something that's like, uh, if I like to hang out with my friends because I feel like that brings me peace. Or that brings me a safe space, and I need that safe space in my life to be you able tell to. tell me, oh, you can't to, hang out with them. Tomorrow. Yeah, you, you tell me. Or it's just like, I, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> Gotta go. Or even if it's like, yo, if you're used to doing that, like, I want weird. you to do that once a month. Hmm? It's a little weird. It is weird. It's controlled. But that's what I'm saying. Like, some people just, we just not, we just go, not going to mesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, thankful to have gotten that out the way from the ages of 18 to 25 versus oh, getting yeah. that in a lot later, later parts of your life. Mm -hmm. you know, I wish, myself personally, I wish that I was like, I'm pretty sure we can all say the same. Um, where we, you know. Well, maybe I can't. I don't know. Uh, but wishing that you, like, lucky like some people who found their, the love of their life at the age of like 21 or something like that. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, that's not reality. That's not for everybody. I don't even I, think I would have liked that. The reason why I chuckled while you was talking because it sounded like it, like it was, it sounded like a cute fairy tale. Like, oh my gosh, I could love him through this. Like, <laughs> it, like, and I used to think the same way in regards to women, you know, and then. I experienced it for mm -hmm. a certain period of time, mm -hmm. and it's like, like I can't do oh, it. Oh no, she can keep all of that. Yeah, this I can't do it. Me. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, come, uh, come prepared. <laughs> you know, I want my meals hot and ready. Mm. All right, hot. Yeah. Some people like doing the work. Like, no, know. no, no. Some people like doing the work. <laughs> and realize that they can't change. <laughs> no, listen. I like to go to the grocery no. store. I don't like to hunt. All right. I want to go to the grocery store, pick out my food. It's ready. I can cook it. All right, but it, it's already there at the grocery store. But I'm not about to go hunting for uh for you know my food or whatever. I ain't about to go be outside looking for berries and stuff like that or uh 
Gotta I slay something. Berries. <laughs> You're talking about hunters and gatherers? I'm not saying hunting You never would have survived in a paleolithic I'm not, saying, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm hunting berries. I'm saying like, I, I was saying hunting mean. and go look for mm-hmm. berries. I was yeah. going to say, that was actually two things on the list. Going grocery shopping and cooking as men. That safety. is crazy. Let's, let's, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely that. Cut, cut it, bro. Listen, cut it, bro. What are we talking fruitful? about? I got to eat. <laughs> We're just supposed to sit in the corner. But depending on how you sit, that might be sad too. That list can't necessarily... You know what? Let me get my sit back. There you go. It's my favorite. Now you just you, that's too. <laughs> he said too close, too close. Hey man, I'm comfortable with my sexuality. I, I, I am don't too. Care but about none the of thing that. that you said this episode making me question yours. And yeah, both got on these fuzzy man. sweaters. Like first of all. Yes. You try that shit, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm letting you know that right Nigga, now. You ain't got shit to worry about. All right, cool. <laughs> got move sassy hands. This, this couch ain't got nothing to do with right. that couch. Let's make this clear. Bro. Yo, you playing with this man ear right now? I think, I think, I think we this did it for sassy. the week. Anything uh, y'all guys got coming up this, is <laughs> this week? Anything Anything y'all want to share? Anything y'all want to talk about? Shout out. A funeral of Laz. Don't get his hands off of me. <laughs> I wanted to make a statement. Let's hear it. To kind of wrap statement. all of this up. But, you know, to, we still going to wrap it up mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, but, you wrap know, I think. Yeah, wrap it up. I think the. Uh, <laughs> dang, that's crazy. Before you get to clap it up. Um, <laughs> what, bro? That's oh, what did he say? That was insane. I got bars. This is crazy. But um, I was. I was saying, like, come on, know, We we. I got the I opinion. Keep I just try it and read it one through ten. <laughs> um, I think that we should, you know, maintain our the the child in us. Um, a lot of the things that were on that list, and that some women probably think are quote unquote sassy um it's just you know enjoyment and it's it it also goes back to like being a, being a kid like I, I think that's important to maintain that like getting back to it and, and i'm kind of digressing a little bit but you know getting back to doing things that you did as a kid um so that life doesn't be so mundane so that's like playing a game for men uh, for for a lot of men black men um and white men could be as well but just playing a game hanging out with your guys playing playing football playing Playing basketball or whatever, and just getting out there, having fun, doing some backflips, uh, playing around on the, on the monkey bars and stuff like that. Casual backflip. Um, I mean, but I'm just saying, like, you know, just just have fun still. You mm-hmm. know, oh, that's cool. important. I'm somebody on the monkey bars. I don't, I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Wrap it up. Now. Wrap Come it up, now. man. <laughs> wrap it up. Like, also, so I, did, I didn't think that's where he was going with that too. I thought <laughs> that was going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so, anybody got anything they want to say about anything going on this week? Anything they want to share? No, I'm just happy to uh, be here with you guys. Like, are you guys really light in my spirit? This is this is a good one. Like, that was funny. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, funny. I didn't think it okay. Was funny. Well, thank you, Maddie. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take it. Of course. You know, kind of have that personality it just rubs off on people. Shut up. Go ahead, Goldie. Oh. Word of the day. Rosie eight. R O S E A T E. Rosie you use it in a sentence. It's an adjective. I'm getting there. It means rose-colored or, second definition, optimistic or idealistic. In the roseate, roseate daydreams, I saw our videos getting a million views. Roseate. Are you a poet? Like you said, I do. Like, so I write. Poetry. I write poetry. I write poetry. Yeah, sassy probably. You, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Rosie. Fuck with it. We're gonna turn that that roseation to reality. We have an announcement. We do have an announcement. Yeah, we have an announcement. We do have an announcement. You want to take lead if on If you this? gotten this far. I don't know if you got I think this was a good conversation. You should have gotten this far. I do want to take lead on it. Um, I so, bet I got this far. I told you. Um, yeah, I do want to take lead on it. So um, we are extremely, I'm extremely excited. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm extremely excited to extremely be, excited. Um, having a new segment that we'll, we'll have for you guys next uh, next episode where we are doing a wing segment. We are the Keith Lees of WTTB. Um, so and I think so when he think, did this the first time, that's where I thought he was going with it. Nah, and I don't know how he got into like <laughs> you heard me say, "Come on, Keith Lee as a child." Yeah. So that's where I thought he was going mm-hmm, with that first. Sorry. That's why I was like, I don't know how we got here. Um, but I'm excited j- just to talk to you guys about. It. I'm excited about it for a multitude of reasons. Nobody's really doing wing reviews here in Buffalo, um, and I think that it'd be a great way for us to appeal to the masses, um, because people love food, and when people come to Buffalo, typically, you know, one of the things they're looking for are wings, um. And you know, we'll we'll have that going for us, and I th- I, I really do believe that that's something that's going to bring us uh, 
well, joy. <laughs> um, obviously, yeah, a lot of joy. That's but also, over weed. but also <laughs> just just uh, truth or snare. Expose us like to. Oh my god! Expose us to a market of people that we haven't been exposed to yet. I like that. Yeah. And we love wings. Like, we always get wings when we That's outside. what I'm here for. I don't care about the segment. I'm just here for wings. Medium hot lemon pepper <laughs> steppers. Like, I need the extra crispy. Yeah. Uh, hey, <clears throat> what the fuck is that? What if we get sponsored? That's, like, at some point that in time, like, people are just giving us wings. That would be Bar ideal. just hit me, like, real time. True for mm-hmm. snare. No, that was cold. That was cold. That was cold. Can we go get Bar. wings after this? Or y'all tired? I'm hungry, so I ain't opposed to that. I ain't gonna lie. Follow us on Twitter. At WTTB. Hey, I play the socials. Do, 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 do. the intro. Come on, man. Don't <clears throat> try to steal your joy, man. Go ahead, right, man. man this, you know, right, I get right. excited about this. Mm-hmm. Follow us on our socials. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on our socials. On Twitter. Go ahead. You go now. It's not at WTTB. See, she don't know him. See, can't nobody do your job like you, Big Jern. WTTB Pod on Twitter. Pod. Pod. WTTB Pod on Twitter. Instagram. Having a uh, you know couple viral moments over there, WTTB Productions, TikTok WTTB Productions. Also having a couple viral moments over there too. Tap in with us, have some fun. Most important, YouTube at what they talk about podcast and like, share, subscribe, repost. That's all our socials. Yeah, I believe so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Twitter, yeah, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, Facebook. and YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I guess you can follow us on Facebook. Share, comment, subscribe. Do we? Subscribe. 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 <laughs> Subscribe. Okay, say so your last piece, Kobe. <clears throat> you could be anywhere in the world. What you hear what with you us? With us? Six six. <clears throat> I'm just a guy. Good job, guys. That was fun. But I'm hungry for real. <sighs>